two bills uh, from Ms. Uh, or Dr. Weber. Welcome. Uh, first is uh, file item 14, AB 611, and then file item 25, AB 1466. Good afternoon, Chair and members. Thank you to the committee chair and staff, and I accept the recommended amendments for AB 611. I'm here to present AB 611, which seeks to expand transparency between non-public schools and the families they serve by requiring the LEAs to notify families when there is any form of status change from the California Department of Education. Non-public schools are specialized private schools that contract with local education agencies to provide services to public school students with disabilities pursuant to an individual education plan. According to data from the California Department of Education, NPSs currently serve over 6,000 students, with 40% of students identified as being on the autism spectrum, and 31% of the students reported as having emotional disturbance. In 2018, a 13-year-old student tragically died as a result of prolonged restraint at a contracting non-public school. The tragic incident brought to light that the certification of the school had been changed to conditional status based on previous misuses of physical restraints, but parents were never aware of any changes. This is important because if notified parents would have been aware of the harmful and unsafe environment this school was for their child. Ultimately, denying parents the opportunity to reevaluate their child's IEP and overall educational setting. The U.S. Department of Education Office of Civil Rights investigated the contracted LEA and found that, quote, parents did not consistently have access to the information needed to participate meaningfully on the IEP teams for their children, end quote. Every single parent and guardian has the right to participate meaningfully in their child's education. Current law requires CDE to notify LEAs of any change in a non-public school or agency certification status change, and this bill will extend that notice of any changes to families so that they may be able to reevaluate re their child's IEP in a timely manner. Among the supporters of AB 611 are the California Association for Parent Child Advocacy, California Health Coalition Advocacy, and Learning Rights Law Center. With me today to speak in support of AB 611 is Christy Sepulveda Burkett from Education Advocate, a statewide grassroots nonprofit organization that serves families with exceptional needs, and Crystal Baham, a parent of a student with exceptional needs at a local area school district. Good afternoon, Chair and members of the Assembly Education Committee. I am Christy Sepulveda Burchett of Educate Advocate. Educate Advocate is a statewide grassroots nonprofit organization that serves families with exceptional needs. And I'm also a parent to a student with exceptional needs who attends a non-public school. Educate Advocate is a proud sponsor of Assemblymember Weber's AB 611. AB 611 seeks to expand transparency between non-public schools and the families they serve when there is any form of certification status change from the California Department of Education. Several years ago, when a student was restrained at a non-public school, he tragically died. Previous to this tragic event, the state had changed the school's certification status, but because there is no requirement that families are notified if a non-public school certification status changes, the families were not notified. This bill would require local educational agencies to alert families who have students in non-public schools via email or mail within 14 days of becoming aware of any change in certification status of a non-public school. This would allow families to have access, transparency, and timely information that they need to make informed decisions about the appropriateness of their students' educational placement. 
Thank you for the opportunity to address you today, and I would ask you to support AB 611. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon. This testimony is written on behalf of Malora Tamano and Edward Miguel, founders and directors of a non-public school Port View preparatory in Southern California with two campuses serving over 200 students. We feel it is imperative and without question that parents, as consumers of an educational service, be informed of any changes to the status of the non-public school certification. Changes in the status of a non-public school certification can be the result of a harmful, unsafe, or inadequate environment for students. For many students, sudden disruptions or abrupt changes may cause significant behavior, behavioral and or social e emotional challenges. These challenges may lead to regression or escalation in symptom prevention that may be dangerous and harmful to not only the student, but their family members as well. By notifying parents of such changes, parents can work together with local edu educational agencies to determine a plan and whether additional supports need to be in place during a transition or change in educational setting to prevent regression or further harm to the student. Thank you for the opportunity to address you today, and we would ask for your support on AB 611. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, any public comments in support of AB 611? Please come forward. And uh, again, uh, please uh, limit your comments to name, uh, affiliation, and uh, your position on the bill. My name is Paula Hazowski. I sit on the Board of Educate Advocate. I am a teacher and a parent of special needs students, and I support this bill. Thank you. Shannon Primer, I'm also a board member of Educate Advocate. I'm a parent of a special needs kid at a non-public school, and I'm a special education paralegal that represents kids at MPSs, and I would appreciate your I vote on this, please. Quentin Levesque on behalf of California Health Coalition Advocacy in support. Thank you. Any further comments in support of this bill? Seeing none. Uh, any witnesses in opposition to this bill? Anyone in the audience in opposition? Seeing no witnesses, any public comments in opposition to the bill? Please come forward. Seeing no one coming forward. Um, questions from the committee? Mr. Hoover. I just want to thank the author for bringing this forward. You know, as a parent of a, a child on the autism spectrum, this is something that I, I feel very strongly about. So I really appreciate your advocacy and uh, really uh, happy to support the bill today. Thank you. Is that a second to the motion? That's true. Thank you. Uh, any further? Any further, Mr. Cadio? Oh, okay. Seeing no further uh, questions, um, we do now have a quorum. So uh, why don't I? Uh, um, well, uh, why don't I let uh, Dr. Weber close first? Um, thank you. Uh, thank you. Parents and guardians deserve to have peace of mind that where they send their child or children is safe and healthy. AB 611 notifies parents of any status change in the non-public school that their child attends so that they may continue to support their children's unique needs. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Weber. A uh, very important bill um, addresses a critical need. Um, uh, I, I will be... Uh, uh, recommending that uh, this, this bill uh, do pass as amended to appropriations. Uh, we do now have a quorum, so let's first call roll for to establish quorum. Marasucci? Here. Marasucci here. Dali? Here. Dali here. Juan Carrillo? Here. Juan Carrillo here. Hoover? Here. Hoover here. Lee? Here. Lee here. McCarty? Cork Silva? Thank you very much. Having established quorum, a motion's been made and seconded on the, the bill. Uh, Madam Secretary, please call the roll. File item 14, AB 611. The motion is due passes amended to appropriations. Marasucci? Aye. Marasucci, aye. Dali? Aye. Dali, aye. Juan Carrillo? Aye. Juan Carrillo, aye. Hoover? Aye. 
Hoover, aye. Lee? Aye. Lee, aye. McCarty? Cork Silva? Okay, so, um, it's out. okay, all right, five votes, the, the bill is out.